what's your take on the holding of these two prime time events instead of the face-to-face -face debate that had been scheduled for this Thursday? Well, Donald Trump said that he wouldn't, uh, he, he wouldn't uh, use his time to talk to a real debate with Joe Biden. So that's why they, they did these two parallel events. ABC wanted to interview Joe Biden, and NBC, headed by Mr. Conde, who was a former boss of Univision and Telemundo, decided to put it at the same time, just to split the audience. It, it's pretty pretty abnormal to have two candidates looking for the presidency and to make the American people to share their time in front of TV to looking at one or another. So, but you know, it's, 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 it's the way Donald Trump is and his advisors. Look at the way he has been reacting to the, to the woman. He's been very on the defensive. Uh, that's my first impression. That's why we call that he's polarizing everybody, everything he touched is polarized. Look at how many people he has been criticizing. Dr. Fauci, Joe Biden, which is understandable Fauci, but he has been criticizing the media, China, etc., etc. So he, he's pretty on the defensive, uh, Kathy. And this way of having two events at the same time, I would say it's pretty abnormal. Santiago, we've been hearing there from the first, the first part of the town hall with President Donald Trump. We heard him talk about COVID, but we also heard him talk about his refusal to commit to recognizing the election results and his repeated claims of the possibility of electoral fraud through the mail-in voting system, which of course, given the COVID-19 context, is expected to be a favored option for many voters. What do you think about that? Well, I, I think that everything can be expected from him. And he has, he has never said that, yes, I'm going to accept the results of the, of the elections, as uh, every president has said, or every candidate, uh, according to the American, uh, American system and American, uh, uh, the American law. Uh, I would say it's very dangerous. Everything can happen. Remember the election of uh, <clears throat> 2000 year between uh, uh, between uh, Al Gore and George Bush. Uh, I think that he's preparing uh, the land for, for possible disrupting the order, accusing Biden and Antifa, look what he said in the debate, or the radical left of uh, rioting against him and saying that uh, the elections are rigged. Uh, it's, it's part of his whole, his whole strategy. He has never recognized that, Cassie, that there have been to 210,000 dead in the United States due to COVID. He's been very responsible. He himself has got COVID. His, his son has got COVID. Uh, uh, so many people uh, has got COVID due to his necessity, as he said, to talk to people, look what he says in the debate, to talk to people, to be president, etc. His, his administration, he himself, has been very irresponsible. That's why uh, all the questions first go to the COVID because it's been a blow to the health of the American people, to the U.S. Uh, even say, uh, as, as somebody said, there is national security issue. And he's only thinking on himself. He's only thinking in his political uh, states where he's having problems. Look, he has mentioned all the states which are swing states or at least battleground states. Ohio, Michigan, North Carolina, uh, Florida. So th that, that's the way Donald Trump uh, is. He's uh, freeing himself from any responsibility of, uh, for the COVID. He's, and he's magnificent. He's the best. He knew prior to anybody else. Uh, so, but that, that's the way he is.